really nobody knows my pain. Nobody knows my temperature. Because I have a I can put on like I'm on fire by my shout. But really deep down inside, I'm warm. And I need to be back on fire. If that's you, I want you as quick as you can, stand up to your feet. Whew. Hallelujah. So because we need a church in San Antonio, Texas that's on fire. We need a church that represents his glory. We need a church that's without spot or wrinkle. We need a church that when the fire of God hits you, it burns out all the dross. Because we can live in a place of emptiness. We can live in a place that the pilot light's on, but there's no fire. Or we put it like this, all you smell is gas. It's a dangerous place to be. But I think here, coming all the way from Houston, Texas, I came for some people today. That after today... They're going to have the fire revival living inside of them. Last night I prayed for somebody and her husband said, my wife came home so on fire. Brother, it made me weep because I hadn't seen that in her life. I want it when people get around me, they catch on fire. I want it when, I, when they get around me, they, they're not the same anymore. I want it where, see fire, the fire of God has a way to burn out sickness and disease out of your body. Fire purifies. If you want to be purified. Fire has a way of turning elements like, turning things into gold because when you put in the fire, only the gold comes out. When you, when you purify gold. So what are you doing? I'm waiting, I'm waiting on God for a moment. Is that all right? Because God, as, as we do this, we're, we're talking to ourselves. We say, God, I, I need more of the fire. I need more of your presence. I need more of your glory. But I want the fire of God on my life. Because we don't want a lukewarm church. Look to your neighbor and say, it's not time for us to be lukewarm any longer. Now, the great thing is, see, you leave here, nobody's going to tell on you. Nobody's going to judge you. See, that's the biggest problem that we have in church today. One of the big, one of the issues with the blood of the church today is that People get judgmental because they say, well, why is she walking to the front? I thought they were on fire. I, I thought they were a Christian. Why are they walking? We need to learn not to judge unless we want to be judged ourselves. We need, because we never know what someone is going through. Today in this place, almost the whole church is standing. Bible says don't get weary in well doing because if you faint not you will reap a harvest in due season due time is your kairos time I believe today there's some kairos moments in here now show a hand just maybe you really know totally never accepted Jesus Christ I want you to raise your hand 
you're not all the way there. You come to church, but you're not all the way there. You said, Jesus, you're, you're my Lord. You're my, but I've made you my Savior, but really, Lord, I, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been able to do all that yet. But the true thing is to be honest before God in this place. Now, there are people in here that need a healing. Who's that? Raise your hand. Hallelujah. Do you believe God can heal, first of all? Because it's not enough to talk about it. We're going to demonstrate it here in a second. Now, because there's so many people standing up just for the fire, and I don't want you to, definitely don't want you to just sit down and not come up here in the next few moments. But because there was less of the people that need to be healed, that's a good sign because I like that. But I, I believe that I want to pray for those people first, if that's okay. I know that y'all had a great healing meeting the other day. And, and sometimes... You know, things happen and, 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 and we lose our healing or we, we need another healing. We need something. But today, there's going to be an impartation that the thing you were afflicted with, that's the very thing you're going to heal other people of. Come on. I just don't throw stuff off the cuff. I'm telling you prophetically, the very thing that has been bothering you, you're about to give the devil a headache. Come on. When he sees you, he's going to begin to run. Who are those people that need a healing in their body? Raise your hand. And if you can, I need you to come to the front. I want you to come right here, and I need somebody that can catch them that's big and strong. Now, the worst thing we can ever do in this moment is say, God, will you heal me? Maybe will you heal me? Remember I said earlier, believe that it's already done. 